Halo, selamat malam semuanya. Uh, malam ini kita bakalan uh, belajar tentang conjunction yang ada di modul kita, yang ada di buku structure kita. So, sebelum kita masuk ke conjunction, does anyone still remember what we learned about last week? Last week lesson. Yes. Yeah, so last week we uh, learned about clause and sentence. So can anyone say, tell me what clause is? So clause is a group of words that has both a subject and a predicate. Or it can be defined as well as a group of words that includes a subject and a verb. So, simply, clause is an. It has subject and predicate. So in clause we learn about independent clause and then dependent clause. So, independent clause is a main clause atau di dalam bahasa Indonesia adalah induk kalimat atau clause pertama. So, what is the characteristic of main independent clause? The first one is independent clause is a group of words which relates to each other and then it expresses a complete thought. Atau dia punya pemikiran yang utuh, memiliki makna yang utuh. And independent clause is somehow is a simple sentence, and it can stand alone. Jadi dia tidak perlu uh, kalimat pembantu yang lain atau support, supportive sentence. That's about independent clause. So what is it? Dependent clause. Dependent clause is subordinate clause atau dalam bahasa Indonesia kita juga sebut sebagai anak kalimat. And the characteristic are It has subject and predicate, but it doesn't express a complete thought. It's a supporting part of sentence, and it cannot stand alone. And dependent clause is usually used subordinate conjunctions such as that, whether, if, when, until, after, Although, because, since, and whereas, and before. So that's about dependent clause. After that, we also learned about sentence. According to Frank in 1972, a sentence is a complete thought, then juga dia mem punya subject and predicate and also in English a group of words which consists of subject and predicate and express a complete information so in unit two, in module one unit two the sentence classific classified by types which is a declarative sentence at the statement it is used to give information of opinion and b it's interrogative sentence at the question it's used to ask or seek for information and then c is imperative sentence which is commands and request Uh, used to give information or ask something to someone you are talking to. And then the last one is exclamatory sentence used to show emotional express expression such as happy, amazed, sad, or angry. Beside the classification by types, the sentence also classified by the number of full predication. The first one is simple sentence. And here, the simple sentence has one clause atau main clause atau juga bisa disebut sebagai independent clause. Contohnya, 
Teddy bought the house, a house, and then the second one, Rita sings beautifully. Karena kita cerita dengan cerita tentang the number of full predication, dia juga ada yang disebut compound subject atau compound predicate. Jadi masing-masing itu subjeknya lebih dari satu atau uh, predicate-nya lebih dari satu. Contohnya yang di pertama, Rati dan Rita, Rati and Rita swim every day. And then the second one, Siska, Tari and I sing and dance at the party. Itu untuk simple sentence. And for compound sentence atau kalimat majemuk or the combination of two simple sentences of two main clauses or more. For example, the rain fell, the wind blew. Jadi, the rain fell is independent one, and then the wind blew is independent one, and then connected by conjunction and. The second example is, we played basketball and then we went swimming. The coordinated The coordinate conjunction that we usually use in compound sentence is an, yet, for, so, and or. For example, the phone rang and at the same time, the door was open. And then the second example is, I want to go away to school, but my family needs me alone. At home, needs me at home. So I want to go to school is uh, independent one, and then my family needs me at home is independent clause as well, and then they are uh, connected by conjunction. But after that, we also learned about complex sentence which consist of one main clause and one or more dependent clause. Jadi dia punya satu main clause dan dia punya satu dependent atau satu atau dua dependent clauses di dalam kalimat itu. Contohnya, you should lock the door before you leave the house. Atau yang kedua, although John is a smart student, he doesn't pay attention to his teacher. Jadi, although John is a smart student, is a is a dependent clause, and then he does not pay attention to his teacher, is a independent clause. The fourth one is compound complex sentence, consists of two or more main clauses and one or more uh, dependent clause. Jadi dia punya dua main clause atau induk kalimat, dan dia punya satu atau lebih dependent clause. Contohnya. Although the farmers always work long hours, they seem to enjoy their work and the and they usually have a long time rest during the dry season. Jadi dependent clause yang di sini adalah although the farmers always work long hours. Yes. And independent one itu adalah uh, they seem to enjoy their work. Lalu yang kedua They usually have a long time rest during the dry seasons. Jadi dia punya dua atau lebih, dia punya dua main clause dan satu anak kalimat. So that's about what we learned last week. Yes. Any question about last week lesson? No. Okay. So we continue our uh, teaching our class to the second mo module, which is conjunction. Does anyone know what conjunction is, and then what we are gonna do, what we are gonna discuss about conjunction tonight? No one. Okay. So in this. Uh, in this module, module 2, we're gonna learn about three conjunction, which is the first one is coordinate conjunction, and then the second one is subordinate conjunction, and then the third one is correlative conjunction.
So we're gonna do the first one. Coordinate conjunction. To combine what is uh what we're gonna learn about coordinate conjunction. What we're gonna do with coordinate conjunction. The first one is to combine part of speech. The second one is to combine phrases. And then the third one, uh, to use coordinate conjunction in compound sentence. A word that is used to combine two independent clause and then coordinate conjunction that usually use is and but or so yet and for that's the coordinate conjunction so in coordinate conjunction it is divided also to structural and functional unit joined by a coordinate conjunction the first one is structural unit coin joined by coordinate conjunction there is words joined by coordinate conjunction the first one it's noun and noun adjective to adjective verb to verb adverb to adverb they are all called uh, as compound unit so structure here means they have the they have its equal so equals to each other kalau dia noun dia harus ke noun kalau adjective dia harus ke adjective kalau dia verb harus ke verb and kalau dia ke adverb dia harus jadi adverb juga bagaimana contohnya mari kita lihat misalnya untuk noun noun kata benda ada anton and tony books and pencil paper clothes and wood men and women itu yang disebut sebagai compound noun dan mereka disatukan oleh kata penghubung n the second one is adjective for example tall and slim clever and beautiful happy and sad or cheap or expensive so this is how adjective compound seems and then the third one is verb for example slipped and fell type and print sing and dance or listen and repeat and then the last one is adverb slowly and carefully quickly and quietly late and early, clearly, loudly, or intelligently. Sampai di sini, so far, any questions? No? Okay. So, the other example we can see in the sentence is for A, uh, Tony and Anton for each other in a duo. The second one, the artist used paper, clothes, and wood to make her collect. And then the third one, the old man slipped and fell in the pavement. And D, the thief moved quickly and quietly. So quickly and quietly is part of a part of adverb compound. So the keywords for coordinate conjunction is the for the structure structural word joined by coordinate conjunction there must be coordinate seperti yang sudah dibilang tadi mereka harus setara jadi kalau noun ke noun adjective ke adjective uh, kata kerja ke kata kerja lalu adverb ke adverb mereka nggak boleh da- misalnya dari noun itu ke verb atau dari verb itu ke adverb nggak boleh jadi harus kata kerja dan juga punctuation punctuation di sini adalah tanda baca 
kalau misalnya dia lebih dari satu dia harus ditandai harus kalau lebih dari dua harus ditandai dengan uh, tanda baca koma seperti contoh yang B paper koma clothes koma and wood yes that's words joined by coordinate conjunction and then the second one is praises joined by coordinate conjunction so the coordinate conjunction can be used to combine two or more praises and the coordinate conjunction that you that is used in this phrase joined by coordinate conjunctions are and but and or for example the choir sang the traditional songs and the national anthem beautifully b he occupied his time in writing poetry composing music and playing the piano and number c is uh, are they student are they studying english typing his project or playing games in a computer so studying english is a praise typing his project is a praise and playing games is a praise that's why they are called praise joined by coordinate conjunction beside praises we also have clauses that join by coordinate conjunction the first is for dependent clause the coordinate uh, conjunction which is an or and but for example the legislative member decided to travel during his vacation because he didn't care he did not care for the country and because the beach had no appeal to him and the second one I don't know when he left the town or when he wanted to do so Number C, the third one, I will go with you after I finish my work or after I finish lunch. lunch. I have lunch. Yes. So, for clauses joined by coordinate conjunction for independent clause, we have an, or, but, yet, so and for the example we can see here the pilot completed his report and he sent it to the airline the t-shirt is too small for you yet it fits nicely to me tina didn't hear anything for she sat down at the back row of the large room and the, the last one is Tina sat down at the row of the large room so she did not hear anything what the professor said. So we already learned about structural unit joined by coordinate conjunction. Now we stepped on the functional unit. In A section, we already learned about compound unit based on formal structure in an unit, such as part of speech, phrases, and clauses. So in this B section, we will learn about the classification of compound unit based on its function, which joined by coordinate conjunction, and will act as compound subject, compound predicate, compound modifier and compound object for example compound subject Amir and Maruli are from North Sumatra dogs and cat often do not get along and then the son of my the name of my son and the name of her son are the same so the bold one is a compound subject we also have compound predicate. They went out for dinner but returned home in time for their ta their favorite program on TV. The second one, they cook, eat, and sleep in the same room. The third one, they read and write in English. And then the last one, 
My son cleaned the floor, cleaned the car, and watered the flowers. That's for compound predicate. We also have compound object. For example, he bought a pen and a pencil. He looked everywhere for his key and wallet. Number three, Mr. Suganda went to Singapore with his wife and his children. Number four, my, chi my parents bought some new clothes for my little sister and my brothers. So compound modifier is the, the pen is played brilliantly but dispassionately. Number two, the professor explained the subjects clearly and seriously. And then the last one is the lesson is important and interesting. So why don't we go to page 212 to make us understand more about this unit. So number one. So number one, choose the best answer to complete the sentences by crossing the word A, B, C, or D. Number one, blah blah blah, are elementary school students. Which one is the best answer of this uh, statement? A, Dita or Dina, Dita and Dina, B, Dita or Dina, C, Dina but Dita, D, uh, Dina for Dita. Which one is the best answer? It seems like it is compound unit which is have to be coordinate to each other and then the conjunction that we usually use is in the A answer. So the, the answer is A. So next to number two, blah 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 are identical twins. Which one is the answer? A Juki or read one, B Juki and read one, C read one yet yeah, Juki, D read one but Juki. So C and D is is actually the same. Yet and but is the same meaning. But for A, Juki or read one, if we want to say someone is identical to other, it should be B and not or. So the answer goes to B option. Have a number C, uh, num number three. Frequent fire, blah, 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 and explain accident have slowed down construction. Yes, it's the same one. So the answer is D. Yes. Number four. Blah, blah, blah. Went to the same high school. Which one is the best one? My experience and my dream. Are you really sure your experience and your dream went to the same high school? So A and B is wrong are wrong how about c my father and my mother yeah my father but my mother no because went to the same high school it's pretty sure that the answer goes to c option so number four is c number five the children blah 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 played happily and cheerfully or played happy and cheerfully or run played and happy run played screamed remember that they have to be structured i mean should be uh, coordinate to each other harus sama kedudukannya jadi yang mana pilihannya coba kita lihat nomor sat yang bagian a played is a verb happily no, cheerfully is an adverb, so it's not. How about B? Played is a verb. 
happy is not is an adjective and then cheerful is an adverb so no number c run is a verb place played is a verb but happy no so the answer is d ran played and scream because they are all a uh, verb or predicate so number c uh, number six the boy is blah 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 which one is the best one yes the answer is a the boy is handsome comma athletic comma and smart they are all adjective so number seven the parrot was made up of clowns or acrobat or animal trainers clowns acrobat and animal trainers clowns acrobat and animal trainers so which one because they are all the same word we have to look on the punctuation and the coordinate conjunction so which one is the best answer yes it's goes it goes to the b option the parrot was made up of clowns acrobats and animal trainers yes that's true so next number eight i intend to take blah 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 next semester so which one comma comma n or or b or blah 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 and english c geography and history or english or D geography and history and English so the answer is a geography history and English because they have punctuation there they have comma and also and number nine uh, help me blah blah help me help give me a headache so which one the traffic noise comma and comma the children yelling or the traffic noise and the children comma yelling or the traffic noise and the children yelling or the traffic noise and the children and yelling so which one is the best yes it's C the traffic noise and the children yelling so number 10 uh, Last night I blah, blah 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 which one is the good one? Read a book and listen to the traditional music, comma and talk to my friend on the phone or read a book, comma listen to the traditional music, comma and talk to my friend on the phone. It seems like the B option option B is the good one, the best answer answer of this question. So the answer is goes to B. Read a book, comma, listen to the traditional music, music, comma, and talk to my friend on the phone. Yes. So so far, any question? If not, we can continue to the next part, which is. subordinate conjunction <coughs> so subordinate conjunction in this unit you will know how to first use subordinate conjunction in sentence second Distinguish between subordinate conjunction and preposition. Third, uh, distinguish between subordinate conjunction and adverb. And then the fourth one, distinguish between subordinate conjunction and interrogative pronouns.
and subordinate conjunction we will also learn about we will also learn four subtopics